All right, this is Demonocalypse with another match on Dragon Ridge. Remember VK3002DB, my Daimler Benz. Current tier spread is 7 to 3 on both teams again with the horrible matchmaking. Just absolutely horrid. And again, even a tier seven, as a tier 7, I only got like a tier 6 gun. So actually, I think it is a tier 7 gun. If it is a tier 7 gun, it's freaking horrible. Alright. Now, I did not keep this battle because I did well. I kept this battle because I was once one of the last left alive. And I just want to show how easily it is for a freaking team to just dissolve around you. I do mean dissolve. There is nothing left except for the people that went to the far side of the goddamn map. Needless to say, we lost this one. I did not stay until the end. My time is too precious for that. And I pinged the shot off my turret. I have no idea where that came from, and I have no wish to know. Either that or it's just a graphical glitch. Only pinged a shot off the front of my turret. Again, I have no idea how that happened. Okay, proceeding a little bit into the village. One heavy tank is AFK. Two heavy tanks moving forward. The Panther can go here. That's gotta hurt. Hit his turret, not too shabby. We got a PZ34 here. There M36 Hellcat Slugger Kaboom Blown the fuck up By being shot by the Panther The Tiger P The MLE 1946 IS And T29 moving forward That leaves the heavy tank to being The T1 heavy is AFK is kind of hounding the little T49. I end up blowing them up. So tight T1 heavy tank there. Actually pinged a shot off me amazingly. Second shot did not ping. As they got a much higher concentration of heavy tanks than we do, to say the least. And all their heavy tanks are working in concert with each other. I need a higher damaging gun. I'm surprised I pinged that. Oh, and those guys don't move for the rest of the match. Quite literally, they stay in that exact spot pretty much the rest of the match, helping no one but themselves. Actually hit the T1 heavy tank amazingly. Artillery kind of helping a little bit. The IS disappeared at one point, and then the T-29 there got blown the heck up. Anyways, I'm the last one actually defending in this area, so what are my chances in all actuality? I can pretty much all I can do is fall back, spot for Artie, and hope to hell they hit something. Unfortunately, that, that, that prayer is few and far between, because guess what? They get blown the fuck up. And again, those three fucking medium tanks over there do absolutely nothing but sit in the exact same fucking spot the rest of the goddamn match. <sighs> I'm disappointed in myself, and I'm mostly disappointed in my team for being so pants on head retarded. The T1 heavy tank, even if it had been um, working properly, wouldn't have been as much help as you'd think it'd be. It'd still be an extra gun. Um, those three medium tanks over there, I'm not sure why they're having such a hard time with a Tiger. I mean, they had the 
T-43, M4 Sherman, and they also had one more medium tank that got blown up. I can't seem to remember what it was. <sighs> then we have the Stug down here, pretty much just not doing anything of any use. Artillery, I can understand that because <laughs> it's inaccurate. Artillery, people fail to remember, artillery is so inaccurate, it's not even funny. Anyways, this has been Demonocalypse. Thank you for watching. Alright, this is Demonocalypse with World of Tanks replays. I have a lot of them saved up. Ugh. Bugger. One second, please. Alright, uh, yeah, I just got a phone call. Amazing, right? Anyways, <sighs> another Let's artillery mission. Current tier spread is five to two on my team and five to three on the enemy team. Not that bad, not that good. And my thirty, my thirty-nine LAM. You don't see leopards every day. No, I do not. No, I do not. I don't want to see leopards at all, really, because if I'm in a high tier match, it means I got a useless tank I have to watch over. And when I'm in a low tier match, I have an over armored tank with a pea shooter. Okay, enemy tank spotted. Get the Churchill PZ4 P PZ38 NA and a PZ3 Asuf. Okay, I did shoot. i fairly certain I did hit that PZ-4 that was over here. Okay, we got the NA moving forward. He's going to evade my shot because he can find the freaking wall. There's the M7 medium tank. No shot on him. Still got the medium tank here. The PZ-3-4 sneaking up on me. Yeah. Enemy armor is destroyed. That way. Killed the PZ-4 over here. I've got the light tank. Down here, let's see what I can do. BT-7. Churchill is moving forward here, and just taking aim. Fire. Enemy is hit. Good amount of damage, around 100, 150. 115 done by the PC-34 here. And killed by the PC-34. Very good, ARF-2. Got a light tank moving up on the island here. Work. It's not working. Not sure why it's not working. I think it was AMX 38. Yes, it was. PZ 34 here. Room to ignore that. B2 here. PZ-34 is being hit. Hetzer killed ARF-2 in his PZ-34, amazingly. Well, not really amazingly, I'd say. Okay, spotted M-36, M-37 here. Sorry about that. Gotta get my terminology right. Aiming, I miss because I've overshot it. And I really like this um, mod here because if you can see just to the right, uh, the main circle there, it tells me how long it's gonna take my shell to get there. 1.47 seconds. Not that bad, not that good. Firing. Gotcha. And amazingly, it actually hit him. M4 there, and another heavy tank, the B1, is moving up through the water. Sir, aiming, zooming in, firing, now, miss. 
balls. And he was killed by the KV-1. In one shot, the KV-1 is loaded with the 122. Short, at least I think he is, because I, that's the only gun I can think of that would reasonably do that amount of damage if it got full penetration. It doesn't happen often, but when it does happen, it hurts like a bitch. KV-1 also killed the Renault UE-57 there. M7 medium tank moving up through the water towards the smaller island on the western side western side of the map waiting to aim, reload and aim here people reload and aim I got medium tank uh, TD and another medium tank moving forward to fire at this guy and I missed just barely the shell just barely went too Sam slow I mean it is a little pet peeve of mine that the RD shells move too dang slow but there's really nothing I can do about it just, they just seem to move obnoxiously slow in relation to all the other bullets in the game. It could just be the way I'm looking at it, where I see I'm shooting, but they just seem to be moving really, really slow. Okay, we got a, a sow and another Lorraine 39 LAM. The sow will be taken out in one shot by the KV-1, and we got the Lorraine 39 LAM over here, I blind fire, hoping to actually hit him. No such luck. And he's killed by the A20. Not that bad, not that good. Another scatter shot match. There's really nothing else I can say about this. 12 shots, 4 hits, 2 destroyed, 1 damage. Experience gain 714 doubled. Credits 9745. In other words, I'm not that good with this thing. Steel Wall was getting by Membrane in his or her KV-1. All in all, satisfactory match. Six deaths to 15 kills. Not much else to say. So, this has been Demonoclips. Thank you for watching.